No, here's our latest set of questions for Arsenal. Call it Arsenal recruiter again. Anything like that. Hi, everybody. Here's our latest couple of questions that we've got to answer if you want to ask the recruiter. Um, today, Geordie, people have asked us, how many pages do you think you need to have on a CV? Oh, wow, I love this one. I love that question. I spoke... I think... I think people want to talk about all of their experience, and I get that, I do totally get that, but we know that an employer is not going to read 20 pages of CV, it just will not happen at all. So, so if, you've, if you've done lots of different jobs over, say, a 20 year career, I wouldn't go back any further than... 10 years maybe yeah. uh, and, and as long as it was relevant so, so if, if I'm applying for a job as a kitchen designer relevant to our industry if I've been a kitchen designer for the last 10 years but prior to that I was working in totally different industries that are irrelevant I'd cut the CV at that point I really would because yeah. even though that's your experience why why does a kitchen showroom need to know that you did something totally different yeah, before I, then. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. And I think there are other ways as well, like using bullet points to keep to keep the information short and yeah. concise and get the clear points across can also minimise, you know, how much pages you're using. Um, I think that, yeah, putting your most relevant experience at the top, you know, don't feel like your CV is set in stone mm -hmm. if you're applying to certain jobs. Pull the information from the yeah. roles you need out and put yeah, that relevant information yeah. at the top whilst just leaving the rest as bullet points so people can see your sort of background. I don't think there's a set answer to how many pages should it have because, you know, we see, we see a lot of CVs where people might want to include uh, sales figures on a, on a separate page, a portfolio of imagery, yeah. you know, it, it might, it might, that might have an effect on how many pages it's got, but I certainly would not have 20 pages of just of experience writing. after experience yeah. after experience, and we do see it, yeah. we, we do see quite a lot of that, but I'd, I, I would have, if I were to put a number on it, I would say three or four. Yeah, absolutely. And I think again on that note, it's about the information that you're putting in, isn't it? If you're really if you're really clever about putting your key achievements in, you know, and focusing less on you know that I do this and I do that in my role and more this is what I've achieved, yeah. then you're getting that relevant information across, and you don't need to have so much information Which within each won't read section. It, but you know, hiring managers are busy. You know, there's a lot of people out there at the moment that want jobs they're going to be receiving a lot of cvs they're not going to read 20 pages of 20 different people it's That's just it. not going to happen it's time consuming it's not going to happen what have you got for me go on what's don't, our next don't question peak. don't peek so we've got should i include it's probably similar to the last one but should i include old jobs not relevant to the job that i'm applying for as, as mentioned in the last question, I think if you are going to include every bit of experience, sometimes just as much as the job title and the dates you work there for mm. is there, you know, focus on the experience that's relevant to the role. Yeah. Um, I think it's worth saying, if you're, if you're a, a junior, if, you, if you're new in your career, you know, have the, have the whole lot in there. Absolutely. Because, you, you know, you might then be in a situation where you're, you're trying to confirm how transferable skills from other industries are going to benefit mm -hmm. you from this job. So I, I can see a reason for junior people that are starting out in their career to use older jobs that are more irrelevant to what they're applying for yeah but i think for for people that are that are more established in their career that are applying for something that they know inside out cut the cv off at that point yeah agreed Keep it relevant yeah, yeah agreed we'll go with that we'll go with that thanks very much guys please get in touch with your thoughts and questions if there's anything that you'd like to hear us speaking about on the next part of ask the recruiter comment in below